the door a couple of times. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, bro. You're pretty good, sir. Hey, you ran? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I don't know if you can consider good when there was doing like this or not. Though, you know? Right. Maybe that's why this coronavirus is going to help you kill it. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's a good one. I don't know. I don't know. Bugs are everywhere, she might. Oh, I know, getting time. Yesterday, I think it was. Yeah, I got Maybe it's a baby. 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 Oh, Lord, I'm going to have to find some big old pool of water. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to dress some pool of water with a smartphone because I don't know how it works. <laughs> I, I can see it now. I'm going to have to find that. Find I've pool. got one now that I'll use it. You've got a something. It. You try to punch it and it. It won't know. Uh, <laughs> you can stand there and beat on the thing. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm going to have to get another one. Well, when we were at school the first day, it would be all right. Wait a minute, clock. Mm-hmm. Right. Hey, do you know yeah. anybody else? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Here, yeah. anywhere? All right. So we'll get started right at 7 then. You know, Yeah. I had a very big delivery. I've had a huge for the city. Oh, really? Yeah. I think you told me you work for DPB on that. I'm one of their con- I, I sell. You sell ones? You wouldn't have an in on that, would you? What's that? You wouldn't have an in there, would you? <laughs> <laughs> well, when they retired, it was the first time in like 78 years somebody come out there. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. They had the anti-family rule, but I would say yeah. they wouldn't hire anybody. Yeah, I would say. I'm good. We'll be fine. We've, uh, I've always seen Jerry up. He's the reason my electric goes so high. <laughs> How's he doing? He's doing, he's, you know, he had a cancer, so. Yeah. He's, he has a hernia from the surgery for the cancer, so he's getting to get that fixed. So oh, really? So. Good. How's he? Thank you. Thank you. Cancer taking care of me. I so. It's amazing compared with it would have happened years ago. Oh yeah. Is, yeah. It ended up being like a baseball size mm-hmm. thing or so. Yeah, I think they got it. Yeah. It's, they can do a lot of things. They can't cure the cold, but uh, <laughs> they can do a lot of things. Okay, I think uh, it's got to be seven minutes. It is. Yep. All right. Yep. Let's, uh, shall we get started? We'll call this uh, meeting um, to order, and um, we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Take one to call roll. Brown. Here. London. Here. Taylor. Here. Skeet. Warble. Here. Simon. Okay. So the um, first thing is we, we have visitors this evening, and so we will um, be trying to get yeah, Swearing is, is, is there anyone here who wishes to, to speak in favor of the case that we'll be discussing this evening? Yes, yes. Okay, so if you would, if you would stand, raise your right hand. Do you uh, sincerely declare and affirm that the testimony you are about to give before the Board of Zoning Appeals will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, as you shall answer under the penalty of perjury? 
Thank you. Um, the case this evening that we are uh, opening up is case number BZA2019 006 uh, that was tabled from our meeting on December the 5th um, in 2019. So I think, um, I think we'll follow our normal um, order of business. Uh, does anybody need to be reminded on what this case is about? No? Okay. Um, so the, there was a motion made, it was tabled, so we're reopening this case uh, this evening. Um, so let me ask, first of all, does anybody want to speak on behalf of the proposal before we begin our discussions? Yes. So you would, if you come forward, um, I assume you have the recording one. Okay, and if you would just state your name. Mr. Chairman, my name is Stephen Pope. I'm a land surveyor, and I am working for CLEO Holdings, LLC. Um, as we mentioned at our last meeting in December, there was a lot of discussion on the width of the uh, driveway uh, panhandle, if you will, from the proposed parcel out to Crawford's Tom Run Road. I believe the uh, code states that it must be 300 feet of road frontage. The current property right now, Mr. Chairman, has a road frontage total of 720.86 feet. Um, after we left the meeting three months ago, we talked about it off and on for many days, and uh, my client has decided to increase that, that opening by 52.23 feet. Now we are proposing a uh, road frontage of 82.23 feet as I have shown on my drawing. Uh, we would be adding about a third of an acre out in front on the east side of that creek uh, to the five acre tract. So in that case, we move the west line of the five acres east to hold that 5.001 acres is what my client is wanting to convey to his son-in-law and daughter. So after some discussion, I think there was someone had mentioned that we should increase it even if we were at a quarter percent of the 300 that it might be considered. Well, we have increased it to 27.41 percent of what your requirement is. And if we are approved for that 82 feet, that would leave approximately 638.63 feet of road frontage remaining with the 74 acre tract. What, uh, did you, what was that percentage you said again? 27.41. 27? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So those are the facts as I understand them, Mr. Chairman. We uh, decided to increase it by that 52.23 feet. If you or the board would have any questions, I'd be happy to try to answer those. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's all right. All your effort. Okay. I'm sorry. All your effort. You're talking about you and the landowner decided that. That's correct. Because when we were in here at the end of the meeting, what you're proposing there now isn't what I understood that it was going to be widened to. Um, and I remember, I think one of us asked you if you knew what we were talking about, and I think you said yes, but I was under the impression it was coming off this point straight down here. But... Uh, what do you guys, you guys got any questions? How, what do you? Well, I just want to make sure if you've got any questions from this. Did you have any other questions? Yeah, I, have, yeah, I'm going, I may. I wanted to know, him and the landowner decided this. After being in here, and after we give them 60 days, they really should come a little closer to our requirements. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions from this Pope? Did you have anything else you wanted to Well, the only thing I wanted to I want to say is that we did discuss this at great length. I'm only here on behalf of my client. Sure. We know it was that. his it wishes was to, to add the 50 some feet. We right. talked about adding the additional land, but honestly, to take that much more land out of production on that side of the creek, my client just had tremendous heartburn over that. That if that goes with the five acre track, and if that track would ever leave family hands, he loses all of that prime farmland. He may have a worse heart attack if we turned you down completely. That's correct. 
That is correct. And after talking about it, and I actually had given him several proposals. And the one that he wanted me to go with is the one that's 82.23 feet and take that third of an acre from the creek out to the road and just add it to the five acres. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't make the decisions. He asked me my opinion. I don't know what that third of an acre is going to benefit that five acre tract. I've been doing this for 47 years. and why that extra land needed to go with this parcel, even the additional road frontage, I, I honestly still can't give you a logical explanation why it's not going to do anything to that property. They're still going to come in and out of that driveway like they've always done. They're never going to use that third of an acre for that five acre tract. My client didn't want to give it up, but I told him, I said, well, you're either going to have to give it up or you're going to lose our application. It was that simple. I said, so what do you want to do? Here's some options that I gave him. And one of them was to come off of some of these other points, but again, we'd be giving up more of that land. I think he's afraid that if it does ever leave the family hands, he's lost that farmland. So that's what we talked about, and his final rationale was, let's score another 52 point. And the reason we came up with 52.23 feet is because we had a angle point here that we just ran it right straight out to the road parallel with the south line, mm -hmm. making this rope, if you will, 52.23 feet wide. Mm -hmm. So that was our thinking on that. I I didn't have any influence on it. I'm just here at his wishes. Okay. I do it that way. So. All right. Thank you. Uh, do you have any questions, for Mr. Pope? Do you have any other questions for Mr. Pope? No. Uh, we'll do, you, discuss it. do you have any questions for Mr. Pope? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you, it. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Does, um, would anybody else like to speak on behalf of this? If you would, you could do the same. You could just state your name and share with us whatever your thoughts are. <laughs> We're here listening. Mr. Chairman, I'm Jesse Denlinger, the client son-in-law. Yeah. Um, as a proposed future landowner, whatever you want to call me, yeah. I, I don't see any reason that I need to have that I think two acres is what the figure was to be on the other side of the creek. It does me no good. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, honestly, I need a driveway to get out. That's all I need. That's all I'm asking for. Okay. I don't want to abide by your wishes. I had no input in the discussion. I'm fine with the 52. I'm fine with whatever's put up. But honestly, as a landowner that, that's landlocked by a creek and a bridge, my kids are never going to go across there and play ball. I'm not going to build a barn over there. It's going to do me no good. Our agreement when we bought the place was five acres at a, at a said price, and that's that's the reason why we're asking for this variance. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I, I do have, I just have one just quick, quick question. Um, do you know, has has there been any discussion or any, any understanding on anyone's part as to what the regulation is and why it is? Well, we understand the 300 feet after the last meeting. We was not aware of that before. Okay. And we understand why. Okay. All right. That's all. I just, I just wanted to make <laughs> We're sure. We're not trying to break rules. No, no, I, don't, I understand. Again, I just thought. I, I just, just want a piece of property yeah. that I can drive in and out of legally. I agree. I'm in the deep two, and for me to consider trying to build a barn or a baseball field right. or anything for my kids is going to just drive a creek right through the middle of my property that I'm going to have to get a mow or something that's. You don't want to farm it, so <laughs> right. that's it. I, I hear you. Okay, thank you. I'm just curious. You will allow you, you will allow him to farm that, farm that though. Yes, sir. I will. Right. My <laughs> my problem is if I ever decide to move, I don't want to again put two and a half acres of production out of farming. If somebody moves in and says they want four hundred dollars an acre to rent that, or you know how everybody knows farming around here. Right. And I want to I want to maintain the integrity of the agriculture as much as possible. I think if you probably would go back and see what we've done to the property since we bought it, we put more acres into production, and that's what we're after. Thank you. Uh, I, you have one other question. Did you have any questions for him? David, did you have a question for him? No. Uh, I have a question. I think the biggest biggest problem you guys run into, and this the surveyor should be aware of, 
when you come in here with less than 50 feet, you're going to have some problem. Well, okay. yeah, I'm, I apologize. I'm had not blaming you. you. Had we known that? You're just a buyer. It, I, it was nothing. I mean, the, you know, this, I, it, it makes me no difference what, know, what the road I know, was. As long as you I, I was after the most productive piece of property for right. me as a sure. consumer and leave as much agriculture impact right. around me. That's, that's has, what I'm after. Has the only other question you had, was, has there been any discussion about, in the transfer of the land, about any kind of deed restrictions? Not to my knowledge. No. Okay. Um, all right. I'm just as a point of information, there are other possibilities where someone might be able to either sell a particular piece of property, property with certain deed restrictions on that. Say okay. it may restrict, oh. you know, your avenue or your narrow. But yeah. you can sometimes you can accommodate things in other ways. Okay. That's all. Right. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Is there anybody else who would like to? Yes. If you would. Do the same, please. Just state your name. And yes, I'm Byron Flora. Hi, Byron. That's what's going on over here. I don't quite understand why you run these people through the ringer. We have uh, flipped properties with very similar different situations as this. And uh, I feel like, I'm, well, in fact, I know the book allows a 50 foot or maybe a 75 foot drive to, to go back to the property and move out. We would done, have done that maybe in the last year and a half on a certain property. We also own property that's been done like that, very similar setback, very similar driveway. It's been allowed in the past. I know of another, at least two, one I know of really, of real local that's been done before. You set back to the driveway and zoom out after that. And so it's allowed, it's been allowed before and it's been booked allowed it. And I don't quite understand why it was, we're, uh, why we're here. Why we're here, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I hear it. There, there are, that's what they're doing. They're allowing a driveway with X amount of footage, mm -hmm. the most most useful, uh, you know, productive of the, of the, of the property, and uh, and even the trick trick might might uh, mess it up a little bit, but it is what it is. So uh, they don't have straight lines like some of my property do. But anyhow, if I think just saying that it's been done before, it's been done for me. I don't see a, why there should be a problem with this property, so that's all I have to say. Okay. Thanks. Hey, if you went down to the courthouse for a crime you did, and there's somebody down there that really done a horrendously bad crime, would you want to be judged with the same judgment? I'm talking about okay, it. It does. Right? Every case is individually. I don't care if you own a dozen. You come in here for another one. We're going to look at it as that individual, not what you got before. Just so we clarify well, that. Well, I just say this: if you do, if you start hopscotching around, and do this for one person, not the other person, you're going to create a lot of tension in the township. So that's all I'm saying for that way. Well, we haven't turned this one down yet. No, yeah, you haven't turned it down. You haven't made a statement. I'm just saying, so what? I'm just stating some facts and uh, just take it for what it is. So I thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Any, any questions? Did you, Craig, did you have any questions? No. Is there anybody else who'd like to speak in favor of this uh, appeal? If not, is there anybody who'd like to speak in opposition to this appeal? Hearing none, and I will entertain a motion. Have, um, I'm sorry. This came in today. I guess this was what you opposition. got. Okay. Let me see what you got. It's not really an opposition. Oh, it's not an opposition. Well, let me see here. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to read it, if that's okay, so that, since everybody doesn't have a copy, just for the record. Um, okay, I see. One's a map and one's a, a notice that I read. Okay? Nothing to read here. Uh, after seeing the notice in the Brookville Star... Uh, we have great concerns about the fate and preservation of the small cemetery on the farm owned by CLEO Holdings, LLC, located at 2639 Crawford Toms Run Road. Splitting the 78.957 acre farm with the 82.23 foot driveway and building and selling it to another person would cut off access to the cemetery. Then, in order to gain access to the cemetery, you would have to go through another person's property. 
They may not allow you to do so since the cemetery would not be on their property. Many small family cemeteries have been turned over to townships so that they can be maintained in a structural, structured way far into the future. Splitting the farm in this way would keep this from ever being able to happen if it was ever desired. These cemeteries hold a lot of information about families and genealogy. The archaeological and historical societies are taking a great interest in small cemeteries because they hold America's and Ohio's histories and it's important to protect. At the very least, an easement should be required on the driveway if it does not already exist for access to the cemetery. Is there a law that requires cemetery access always be maintained? We also question how the back part of the farm can be accessed without the drive and bridge due to the creek needing to be crossed to access it. Another bridge could be built, or it may be possible to create an area to drive across the creek, but would possibly need to be approved by the Army Corps of Engineers since it would be altering the stream. Seems some form of access would need to be in place before a split could happen. These matters, and or possibly laws, may need to be considered before allowing the split. Thanks, Dale, Seam, and other concerned residents. Okay, I think I got all of that. that cemetery. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you on this map here. Um, hang on one second, because I'm going to pass it to the top of right here. Okay. So the my family's buried back there. I'm sorry. Some of my family's buried back there. Are they? It's the Pioneer Cemetery. Pioneer yeah. Cemetery. Okay, okay, here you go. Take this and, and then make sure to show it. Um, okay, um, we have this and we'll look at this information. Is there anyone else that wants to say anything? Either I didn't get sworn. Would you like to? Yeah, I just... All right, if you would, please. I don't want if you would please, if you would just simply raise your right hand, do you sincerely declare and affirm that the testimony you are about to give before the Board of Zoning Appeals will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, as you shall answer under the penalty of perjury? Thank you. And uh, did you want to make a comment or two? Yeah. Well, please, it just state your name. Okay. Bill Sims. There you go. Thank you, Dale. What well, I was going to say. I don't necessarily have a problem in the width of the driveway, okay. much like Byron stated. I, I don't really see the point in taking additional ground of so many extra feet that, like you say, just going to be, you know, who's, if, if it's to sell to another person, what's somebody going to do with 50 feet, you know, off the driveway? It's not practical to farm. I don't necessarily have a problem with that, but then I do question how do you access the back part of a farm if you sell your bridge and your driveway? And I, I just think... I didn't know that cemetery. And, and in the cemetery, like I said, I there there's some people in the community that have a great... And I, I do too. Is it I, there? You've almost got to put in them. I got, they got to have think that's, to that's our history. That's our past. Yeah. And I just think we got to... Remember that. Who maintains this? Do you know? It's not, it's not being maintained. It's not, maintained. It's not being maintained. And, and, and maybe maybe that part is fine. I don't know. But a lot of them have in the past been turned over right. to be maintained. But if it's, if it's not accessible, it could never be. And maybe nobody would ever desire for it to be turned over. But it's just a question that I... Okay. Well, I appreciate you bringing it up. Is there... Did you have anything else? No. No. Uh, is there anyone, uh, Mike, did you get a chance to yes, listen? Sir. Okay. Is, is, is there anybody else who would like to speak uh, against this appeal? So, um, if not, um, then I'll entertain a motion to close the public portion of this hearing. Is there a motion to that effect? I'll motion that. Uh, uh, it's been moved by Mike and seconded by Dave. Um, without objection, all in favor? 
Okay, without objection. So, um, okay, it's closed. Uh, the public portion is closed, and so it's now for us to discuss. David, what did you... Well, what were you thinking? At this point, they've created the driveway, uh, so forth, but something just came up that, personally, when whoever makes the motion needs to include that they could have people would be allowed some access back there for certain reasons to check grades or whatever. You can't rule them out. I wouldn't think. I, I wouldn't. Of uh, <coughs> that I wasn't aware of. If we'd have been aware of that start, when we tabled this, we would have included that in a requirement. Okay. Um, but you know, to approve it, we're going again, public opinion, we can't just include it, uh, uh, split it like it is, and so and cut that off so that people can't get to it. If there's no other access to that, then there's got to be some way back there. Well, there's access through Kent Cook's farm next door. So that's through another farm. Through another farm. Yeah, yeah. we don't have that. Yeah. But we don't have permission to Kent Cook. No, that's right. Just let me um, let me ask this question. It seems like there's two issues here, uh, maybe three or four, but at least two primary issues. Number one is the um, is this new issue of uh, access and some type of easement or some something to accommodate the access to this uh, cemetery. But the prior issue, which is the basis of the appeal, is a variance on the um, the the regulation and the regulation being frontage. And so then the question is whether the question that I have for you is whether or not what's been proposed to you this evening you feel meets that or does it come close to that? And if it doesn't, then what is it that you would like to see if you wanted to if your if your move was to approve this? I don't have an opinion on this right now. I just really want to try and get it the bell we can in. get their opinion. Yeah. I think they're the wise ones. The cemetery situation does offer a, a twist to the plan. It's it does, it's but it's I, I think it's a separate issue, right? That's right. why I wanted. I'd like to at least get your feeling I on the I don't the remember, very. I don't remember the conversation of going to, to the twenty-four, twenty-five percent, you know, of of the easement in the front. I I still would like to see it. Maintain the, the standards that we have maintained in our book that we are abided by for the township. That's my opinion. And 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 that is the three hundred. Correct. And do you have? Did you have an opinion on that specific aspect in terms of footage? Well, you know, here's the thing. I've always contended, Mike. And I've been in here about what 16, 17 years. Yeah. And to bend the rules, we're allowed to bend the rules, but we pretty well set standards about 25, 30 percent. But we've got another obstacle right now that needs to be decided, even if we all agreed on this the way it is. No, how I, you I, I vote on it. Well, how are you going to vote on it when we've got another question back here that has to be decided first? Yeah, I'm, that, that's not what I'm suggesting, David. I'm well, I know that. that. I'm suggesting we just get an understanding of where people's positions are on these two different issues. Uh, and are you comfortable with that uh, road frontage that's being proposed by the applicant? No, because that wasn't what I thought we were going into when we left the last meeting. Other than that, I, so let, let me ask you. Let me ask you this, because you've answered the question for me in terms of what you would be comfortable with. What would you be comfortable with in terms of, of the kind of variance we would have to give? If we're giving any variance, what what would be a minimum road frontage that would be acceptable to you? Or do you have one? Well, yes, I have one, but also I ha I just have one vote, and there's four of us here. I understand that we're just gathering and the majority. Is three, which can beat me. It don't matter. Of course. And the same way with Mike. I understand that. Uh, so I'm asking for what you think would be your minimum. Under the circumstances, i got to be fair. Uh, I get accused of a lot of things, but, you know, had we got down to this very in footage at the last meeting, mm -hmm. 
and said, hey, it's got to be a straight line down through here, then I would vote to turn it down. But we didn't do that. Right. So I think we failed. We did. We left it open. We left it open. Right. Consequently, I would, I, I, I would have been myself and, and accept it as is, but I've got to have something decided on that cemetery. Right. What's, what's your sense on, on just the issue of the variance here? I mean, I know there are access and easement issues in the other. Yeah, I, you know, I, I understand the concerns about the farmland. Um, I don't necessarily have a problem with that um, because I know the terrain there, it's on a hill anyway. It's kind of... Um, not, and the owner, I don't know what you would do with it. You're talking about this area here. Yeah. yeah. This is all. This goes down a hill to the creek. Yeah. If he owned it, I don't know what he'd do with that corner. Yeah. There. I, I don't. I don't know. Either. Start with if they got a great big combine in there, they're gonna turn that corner very easy. Yeah. Right. I think the land behind the barn's all pretty flat and usable for whatever you want to use right. it for. But I don't know what you'd use that up up front for. So I, I don't necessarily have a problem with that. With this road frontage right. proposal. Right. Okay. So, um, I mean, I think David, David has an important point in that because we were not any more specific mm -hmm. than we were the last time when we mm -hmm. left it completely open, mm -hmm. um, to, uh, it may be a lesson for us in the future as well. I'm sure we <laughs> that we get a little bit more specific about what we think is acceptable and what isn't. But so you would, this would be acceptable to you, mm -hmm. and this would be acceptable to you. Yeah, providing something else is provided in here. We've got an obstacle. I understand. It's got to be I understand that. I, won't vote for it. I understand that. I'm only asking about the the, the road frontage that's being proposed. There's a guy you need to talk to. But uh, but put it after I get there's there. There's a guy you need to talk to. So so you're saying yes to the road frontage. There's a guy you need to talk David, to. David, I hear you. You ain't gonna hit me down like that. I, I'll, you'll know when I vote. That, that, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just, I'm just trying to find and get it someplace so that they can get an answer to what they need. So, so Mike, let me ask you. Okay. If you're understanding. Where would you be? Would you have any open, openness to any kind of a change or that? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm gonna follow the. I mean, I'm new at this. This is my only my fifth meeting, I think. So, You're fine. So my issue is to keep the ore in the water for the township. I I, mean, I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing for what's in this book. I, it, it, it's very tough because you're all my neighbors, and I want to make sure everyone's happy. But I also want to make sure that I follow traditions and the standards that were set in this book. Mm -hmm. I mean, I that, totally, that's my concern. And I totally understand fully about the farmland. I, I, I honestly, I am totally on board with that. And if we can, hit, I understand your justifications for the, the footage here. I can, I can bend my opinion with this. I, I think that we do need to address the cemetery, and that's a separate thing. But um, I, I will, I understand. You know, I can bend my opinion. I stated my case, but I do understand everyone's case here, as long as Mr. Sims' uh, situation is addressed also. So, um, let me ask this: Would you, do you think you could be comfortable with this, or would you want it to be higher? Now wait a minute. You want to pin both of us down? I'm, Neither I'm, one of us will like it. I'm not uh, saying we, you. I'm we not saying are David, David, David. the last meeting. We David, the stipulated. David, I got that. We've been there, done that. I'm trying to get us to a place where no, we get to a decision. You're trying to get us to vote before it comes to. No, I'm asking for some input because what one person gives may may affect the other. Is, is, and I'm asking Mike, is there is there a place that you would feel comfortable, or is this okay? I mean, I don't know. If, if, the, if, the, if the board is comfortable with this, and that this has been a practice that has been followed in the past, I mean, well, we're allowed to do it. I'm it. Okay, okay, then then I can I can adjust my opinion after sitting here and hearing the board discuss it. I, I need to have some input from my fellow members. I don't right. want to. No, we can we can do it. We're allowed to do it. I I, but, I wish uh, you, it would have come back differently because the very first time when I opened this, I thought, man, I thought for sure we talked about you know. I being thought further we did. You. But but I understand the whole concept of conserving farmland in our community. It's very important. So I um, mean. Yeah. I, I can I can swallow my heartburn with this as long as we make sure that we take care of the situation here. I think Brad, you know, has a good handle on this being in his family members in that area. So uh, maybe well, he, he's familiar with it. I'm not. Well, he, he, I think 
So let's, yeah, let's talk to me about the second piece, Brad. What are your thoughts on this? Well, Dean, Dean knew that there was back there when you guys bought the farm. That was all part of the deal when you guys bought it. So it's always been there. Uh, you know. That cemetery is not on what he's buying. Yeah. No, no. It's yeah. on the rest yeah. remainder. Yeah. Of, yeah. Of, of, of. The issue yeah. So the issue is we got it really needs the access through that property to go back there. Right. That's the snake. Right. And then if, um, again, if you would sell it out of the family, that would still be an That's issue. And unless it's stipulated in the deed. Right. Right. You know, have to you know, have to easement. I don't know that that uh, access to that cemetery is not an issue for me. Um, I know Kent allows it, and <laughs> both of those neighbors wouldn't allow it. The one over there on Sulphur Springs would probably allow it. You know, it's not like it's uh, a daily trip back to the family cemetery that's full of honey stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, not something that's freshly used. No, yeah. it's not used anymore. And I'm, I do want to preserve it, uh, you know. And my, one of my uh, goals is to get it cleaned up and presentable so it doesn't look like just a big thicket, which is what it is now. But in order to do that, you'd have to have access. I would have to have access, you know. And it was, that amounts to permission from one of his landowners to go back there. And I've already got it from Kent. I know that. So, you know, it would be getting permission from There again, he sold your like the same place. Yeah, I'd have to ask permission yeah. for, for whoever owned the land again. Or I'm just trespassing. Mike, what are your thoughts about that? I mean, that Brad has has on the foot on the ground knowledge. I mean, yeah, I, I think, think there's nothing wrong with that. I, mean, I, I think, think the egress to the back part of the farm is more of an issue than the cemetery, personally. Yeah. Okay. So, is there any is there any suggestion here that uh, any kind of a, um, a deed restriction or an easement needs to be a, a part of this? We can only ask ask for, you know, it's up to that other land, the end landowner. The landowner owns the rest of it. Your, your father in law is here, isn't he? That would have to be written into the deeds. Yeah. It'd have to be stipulated. Yeah, it'd have to, it'd have to be stipulated. If, in fact, that is the concern. Yeah. Is that there would need to be, you know, if it's a condition of, of this right. appeal. And we can make it a condition. It, I believe we could. We can make it as a condition that they allow access back there. Um, they'd have to be stipulated into the deed to do it. Right. And yeah. that would be that easement. They'd have to agree to it. You know. Well, the easement would, would need to be put in as a deed restriction that would then pass on. It might never be used, but it's still right. Be used. That that could include access to the cemetery too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it could be noted as for purposes. Yeah. For that purpose. Mm -hmm. I mean if, if that's the case. The issue is is that when it comes to the, one of the concerns that I have is that um, what the exact language should be. Mm -hmm. Um, with that, the, we needed the other some thought to. But what I was going to say was, what the language should be, um, with with regards to the easement and any any kind of deed restriction. Um, I honestly think we need a legal opinion on that, um, and we have access to that um, as far as the, uh, the, the you know the county and um, the prosecutor's office, and we have legal we representation. So. My concern would be is if in fact there is a, is a concern about putting language for an easement or a deed restriction or an easement within a restriction mm -hmm. that, that is able to last beyond that, that we would in fact need to have a legal um, we would need to have a legal opinion as to what's appropriate for us to be able to use in a yeah. in a in yeah. our ruling right. because what right. we're doing is in fact from a technical point of view 
this Board of Appeals is considered a judiciary body, right. and we're making a decision. And so if we're making a decision and we're including instructions in there, then we need to be mindful of what's going to be appropriate and legal, because it could be certainly someone can appeal this and go through a long, nice legal process and oh, yeah. make a lot of lawyers some good dinners mm -hmm. and um, and overturn it. Or And some of you know that that happens. Um, that's not where we want to be. We, we want everybody, every lawyer we know just having lunch, okay? Um, that, that would be my only other concern as far as the language. If, if the sensibilities are that the, the board is, is willing to accept um, what's being recommended here, and with that acceptance, also an understanding of what our future responsibility may be, uh, when we do table something and we have a sensibility about what we want and we don't communicate that as clearly as we should have, mm -hmm. that that's on us. That's well, and then I think that, that we need to be able to not only know that, but we also need to know that we need to have the appropriate language in any kind of a, any kind of a ruling. So my recommendation is, um, and I would entertain a motion to this effect, Okay, <laughs> I will entertain a, a motion to the effect that that this matter is tabled. This this matter, this case is tabled um, to a future meeting until such time as the Board of Zoning Appeal has been able to acquire. Legal yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give her time to write. I'm watching her hand. That's okay. sorry. I know where I'm going. Okay. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I, I give her enough grief. I don't want to give her any more hand cramps. Uh, that the uh, board is able to acquire a legal opinion and input on the wording of any future ruling on this case. Legal input to the... On this case. Future To the wording? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Legal this input... Concerning the system. Right. Not even that. Just, it, it, we'd have to look at all of it. Okay. Michael, I'm going to entertain a motion that this case is tabled to a future meeting until such time the BVA is able to acquire legal input to the wording on this case. That's fine. Is there anybody who'd like to make that motion? Because I'm simply entertaining it as the chair. I'll make that motion. Motion's been made by Brad Warwell. Is there a second? Second. Mike seconds it. On this, if you would, we'll call the roll. Warble. Yes. Brown? Yes. Taylor? Yes. London? Abstain. So the motion carries, and we will table this until such time as we get um, a legal opinion on what our language should be. Um, uh, I don't like, I'm going to be honest with you, and this is just as a piece of information, I don't like just tabling things for the sake of tabling them and mm -hmm. pushing yeah. things off. But um, by the same token, um, you know, we are, we're all human, we make mistakes. I don't want to make any more than we absolutely have to. Clearly, we may have made a mistake in not making ourselves as clear in the past as we possibly should have, and we don't want to make that mistake well, yet. legal counsel know how to word this. Yes, yes. So, um, I think those of you who are here, hopefully you have a sense of where the board is, is moving and what direction and what our concerns are. So... Um, I don't believe we have another case. We can open this. He's got a question. Okay. Do, do we have? We don't have any other case, do we? No. Okay. So then I will uh, entertain a motion to open the meeting again for the public comment. I'll do that. Is there a second? I'm sorry. For that objection, so ordered. You have a comment. If you would just state your name and whatever you'd like to ask or state, <laughs> whatever it is. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I understand the easement 
the requirement, the, the easement, what they're asking on the print that Mr. Pope has is that we have a 30 foot easement existing. So we are accommodating to that. Right. And the question. And, I, mean, I have a neighbor that uh, Moses Grass's piece of property, um, Russell Landis has property behind me and he uses my bridge to mow it. So mm -hmm. that we would, that's why we was including that easement already. So okay. I just want to make sure. We, uh, Thank you. No, we didn't spell it out. But yeah, <laughs> no, that's okay. We're trying to allow access back right. there. So. We appreciate that, and I think the issue also, though, comes up because of what you suggested before, and that is we don't well, know what the future holds. I'm not made on what property, and so if there's a deed restriction that's placed on that deed that allows for an easement in perpetuity for the purposes of, and I'm not the lawyer, but I'm, for the purposes of accessing this particular cemetery. And, and that that is after the other property, that puts a different kind of a clarification yeah. than just we do already have yeah. an easement, which I well, can that see. Was, that was my stipulation with the landowner of the right. bridge is whoever farms that needs to get trucks back there or whatever. Absolutely. I'm across from there. I'm, yep. I'm, I, I don't feel comfortable bottlenecking somebody and having to the bridge to get back to farm, farm these properties. I'm with you. Got Thank it. you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, is there anybody else who'd like to make any comments? Uh, regarding this, if not, I'll entertain a motion to close the public portion of the meeting again. I'll entertain. Moved. No, For that objection, so ordered. Um, I think that uh, the next thing that we have here um, are the minutes. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask, have all board members had an opportunity to read the minutes that were submitted to them? Yes, we did. Yes. Then I'd like to entertain a motion that those minutes to be uh, approved as submitted. Is there, is there such a motion? I'll motion that. It's been moved. I'll second. And seconded by Brad, without objection, so ordered. Um, is there anything else that we have, uh, other announcements and uh, any other comments that anybody has? Uh, there is business that you can turn this. Okay. Okay, did you have anything else for us this evening? Um, yeah, Sh Sherry Simon agreed to be, stay on as an alternate. To stay on as an alternate? And Wonderful. My, my last day here will be June 26th or before, depending on what the trustees decide to do with my position. I'm so sad to hear that. I, I'm, I think I'm allowed to officially be sad to hear that. <laughs> um, it's, uh, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, Kate. Yeah. I, I do want to say this. I have appreciated the work you've done. Thank you. I do. I appreciate the work you've Thank done. Thank you. Um, you've done a good job, Kate. And it's so nice to be able for me to come in and find you've got all everything laying right now for you. I appreciate that. Um, are there any other announcements? Um, no, that's it. No, that's it? That's all I have. Okay. Um, board members, do you have anything else? Otherwise,